Hello and welcome to the Jungle Garden in Denmark. As you can see, we've had a bit of snow and um, it is a lot colder this winter than it, it has been for the last few years. It is today minus 7 degrees centigrade uh, and we have had minus 8 Um, and for the next few days the temperatures are not going to be above zero. So it'll be interesting to see if everything survives. I don't think so because already there are a few plants that I think have died. But uh, we don't know for sure until spring. I have brushed off most of the snow from the palms because... Um, I don't want them to break because of the weight. We didn't get that much snow, but enough. Uh, and also there's a risk that when the snow melts, it runs down in the middle of the plant. And that's where the new shoots come from. Uh, and that's really what kills them if that freezes up again. Um, so hopefully they survive, but we don't know for sure until spring. This is the last of the Brahea idolis that we have um, and to protect it we made that little roof for it but if it survives I think that's a miracle it looks like it's it is dead and like the other four we had and this is uh, a soda panics gecko gold and uh, as you can see it's looking really sorry for itself um, it probably should have had a fleece bag over it which is too late now Uh, I might put one on, uh, and then we'll see in spring if it does survive. Perhaps it, it'll shoot again from the roots, but it looks like it's gone. This is Milianthus major, and uh, we protected it around the root just before all this frost. Uh, so perhaps it'll shoot again from the roots, but it doesn't look too good now. And this is the experiment, Cyacris. They are supposed to be hard down to minus three, so perhaps they won't survive. Before all of this frost set in, we protected the roots, as you can see. So hopefully they will survive. Um, we had some really strong winds from southwest. So as you can see, it broke a big part of it. All of them, all four of them out here, um, I, has a broken branch which is a shame but hopefully the rest will survive the tree ferns are doing okay um, they are protected in the middle with straw and I've left the snow because that isolates as well so if the middle survives it'll make new uh, shoots the old ones here might die off They probably will because, as you can see, they have been browned off by the frost. Here in the Australian bed, we have protected the two bottle brush with uh, a fleece bag. Uh, they're only hardy down to minus three, so hopefully this will be enough to get them through the winter. Also, the yucca plants have been protected with a fleece bag. Um, I do think they can cope with a bit of cold weather but just in case um, the only one we haven't protected is the yucca rostrata because that can that can handle down to minus 20 no problem also here in the courtyard we have victims of the cold this is plum bago and uh, apparently it should have had a fleece bag uh, normally it doesn't get that cold here in the courtyard but this year it's been too much This is Bougainvillea glabra. It should be hardy down to minus a few degrees, but again, it has been too cold for it. It should have had a fleece bag. I'll put one over it now, but it's probably too late. But as you can see, the Trachycarpus fortunii and uh, also the Trachycarpus wagnerianus, they do quite well. They don't mind the frost. They are, as far as I know, hardy down to minus 10, minus 13. So uh, I, sp I expect them to survive. As always here in winter, we have plenty of birds in the restaurant. This year, 
a lot of blackbirds. We always have pheasants coming to eat in during the winter, but this year we have a very special guest, a sparrowhawk that comes every day. The fish are in winter hibernation, as I guess you can call it. Uh, we keep a hole open in the ice so that the gases can escape and the oxygen can get into the water and also the streams are still running that also oxygenates the water. Uh, and that, this was all for now, just a quick update. Thanks for watching.